everybody, Bill Hahn Jr. here, and we're going to talk today about mandrel tube bending. And everybody's heard this term, of course, it's all over the high performance world. Mandrel bent tubes are known to be superior, and we've got an example of a wonderful mandrel bent tube here. It's one of the downpipes we manufacture, very expertly welded by our welding techs. But what we see here, of course, are these beautiful, smooth, full cross section mandrel bends. No crinkling, no wrinkling just absolute perfect flow all the way through and so what is a mandrel mandrel bending right well it's not a mandrel nasty butter it's not a mandrel way cuter a lot nicer it's a mandrel this is the guy that we're talking about when we talk about a mandrel in mandrel bending the mandrel is drawn through the tube during the bending process and its body and these balls help the tube to not deform, compress, wrinkle, or otherwise not look good when it's all done. Mandrel bending also uses this other tooling. This is called a former pressure die, clamp die, wiper die, and of course the mandrel on the inside of the tube. So we've got a setup right here, ready to go. And we can see the mandrel, This, in this case, a brass or bronze mandrel, which is used with stainless steel, which is what we're gonna bend today. And I'll operate the mandrel manually here so you can see it go back and forth. That's fully extended and we'll go back to fully retracted. So we're going to show you how the mandrel gets the job done through the bending of the tube right here in live action. we got a beautiful piece of 304 3 inch OD stainless here, 16 gauge, American made right up in North Carolina wonderful piece of material and we're going to use this very sophisticated grease application tool I call a wooden stick get her full of grease a little bit at each end and this will keep the high pressures developed during the bending process from becoming a problem we'll see in the hydraulic system 3000 psi plus of pressure during this process so the force is being involved in taking this piece of metal and bending it to our will are pretty substantial. So, we're gonna clamp this guy in. Got a couple set screws here to hit. This particular collar will help us keep track of the position of the tube during the bend. This is a semi-automatic mandrel tube bender. It's not a fully automated piece that wouldn't require any human interaction. But it does have automation in terms of its ability to produce particular degree bends and particular rotations of bends on the tube. So, let's go ahead and make the first bend here. Machine set for a 24 degree bend. Now we're gonna see the mandrel while we operate the early part of the bend, and you'll see it stroke in and out as it gets into the correct position for the bend itself. Here we go, bend number one on this downpipe. And you can see the mandrel stroke back and forth there. There we go, bend number one is complete. We're going to zero out the readouts, set up for the next bend, hit the old return pedal, and the machine will retract back to its original what we call home position. We'll set it up for the next bend by advancing the tube 6.14 inches using our handy readout. And we've got to rotate it to 262 degrees. there. There we go, 262 and 6.14. And if we do it just right, it won't shift as we apply the clamping process. Now, this time I'm gonna show you something that's kind of interesting. We'll be able to actually externally see the balls that are on the end of the mandrel through the external wall of the tube as they do their job during the mandrel bend. It's, it's really kind of eerie to see the metal pooched out from these balls. Here we go. Then number two. Now 
Now we're gonna see as the tube gets exposed here, we'll be able to see the impressions of the balls. And there they just retracted back in. Kind of weird looking, that metal yielding. And again, we're talking about thousands of pounds of pressure here. For you metric notation folks, that's 200 plus bar of pressure. Once again, hit the return. The machine will return to its original home position. The tube has already extracted itself off of the measuring clamp mandrel piece, so out it comes. And there it is, one beautiful mandrel bent tube. And that's how it's done. Mandrel bent tubes, now you've seen it, now you know it. Thanks everybody, have a great one.